Well, joining me tonight for more, my special panel from Chennai, M. Sridhar, he's Swami Nityanand's lawyer. I'm also joined by, uh, from uh, Mumbai, uh, Joseph Dias, General Secretary of the Catholic Secular Forum. And I'm also joined by Rahul Singh, writer and journalist from Mumbai. I'll also be joined by Rahul Ishwaran, articled voice representing the Sabri Malai Temple, and Ma Sadhana Osho Ashram spokesperson. Well, let's just uh, begin my debate tonight. Let me go across uh, to M. Sridhar Swami Nityanand's lawyer. Mr. Sridhar Swami Nityanand arrested yesterday. This has come after uh, drama of over a month after the tapes first came out. The police now say they have a strong case against him. What is the defense of Swami Nityanand? See, now, right now, the matter is that it's in the, it's in the court and uh, the legal action has been taken. And we are also taking uh, pursuing our own uh, defense uh, case before the court. And we will definitely see that he comes out of where he gets a clean sheet. Right. And uh, what exactly are you planning to uh, have as your defense, Mr. Sridhar? No, I can't tell all the defense which we, is, is, uh, we are in our media. And we, we cannot tell all our defense. We have our own case because it's allegations which they have to prove first. And later we have to take a defense. First of all, they have to prove the case. And we have a, see, we have a case before uh, us and we'll project it before the court and uh, we see that we get our uh, justice done in the court. Why was he on the run? We know that, as I said, uh, this uh, scandal broke uh, over a month ago. Why was he on the run for so many days? See, the, the matter is basically a very sensitive issue and uh, it's, it's almost it was heading all the newspapers and the medias. And uh, it's not right to a person to come before the media and say that uh, everything is true or untrue. Because it's a totally, there is question of uh, security is there. Mm -hmm. The safety of Swamiji is more important for us. So we uh, advised him to, we'll take a legal course and we will see that uh, everything comes, the things are clear and we'll get him out. Right, let me go across now to, uh, to Joseph Dias, General Secretary of the Catholic Secular Forum. Uh, Mr. Dias, the, the sh a show tonight, looking not just at the issue of uh, Swami Nityananda or individual cases, but looking at a larger issue, the crisis of credibility. Uh, today, of course, we read reports that shows that uh, the Pope's popularity is at a record low after a scandal has rocked the church across Europe. Uh, its ripples being felt in India as well. How do issues like these challenge a faith? See, basically, it's not so much the issue of a faith because faith is essentially a matter of what one believes in. Mm -hmm. And one doesn't believe in something because of A, B or C personality. One believes in the tenets and the principles of that faith. So essentially, I, I wouldn't give much to popular ratings of the Pope uh, coming down or going up for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Because if uh, he would, uh, you know, wave off things like celibacy or talk in favor of homosexuality or allow priests to get married and so on, obviously some might say that his popularity would, uh, would uh, you know, shoot up. So, so it's not so much of popularity. Yes. The whole issue basically has arisen because of... Uh, a media trial, a trial by media where most of the godmen concerned mm -hmm. have not been given a chance to prove themselves and uh, therefore this is something that is, uh, that is upsetting a lot of true followers of various faiths. Right. They, they, they say give him a chance, let him prove himself and if proved guilty, hang him. Right. That's, that's the official st uh, stand that the church has taken. Right. Let me just go across uh, to Rahul Singh. We are talking about a media trial. Rahul, uh, the argument that Mr. Dias is making, and I'm sure that many Swamis would make that, in a way, men of God, uh, Swamis, are, are favorite uh, whipping boys. Or, you know, they, I mean, there's almost a kind of glee when you find a Swami in a sex scandal. It's seen as somehow, uh, you know, defrocking, or it's, it's good ratings, or it's, interest, it's, it's interesting to talk about scandal. What's your take on it, and do you think that this ignores a larger issue? I think, uh, uh, contrary to what some uh, one of your uh, people said just mm -hmm. now, the media does not do enough mm -hmm. to expose these so-called godmen, most of whom are complete frauds. You know, we are in India probably the most gullible people on earth. Mm -hmm. We fall for all kinds of tricks that these godmen uh, do, materializing things from mid -air, from uh, thin air things like that. We are gullible people. I think the media should be doing much more than they're doing at the moment.